my scrappy crafty friends it's Laura I realize I haven't been around much the last while but I'm hoping to get back going on YouTube and um, share my junk journal and haul videos with you I'm starting this with a non junk journal item because I've decided to start Pyrex and Fire King uh, I've been watching a lovely lady in Florida who uh, it's called Thrifting 101, and I've been learning a lot from her, and I've always loved these beautiful old dishes. I picked this one up the other day, and, and it, it looks to me like it's never been used. It's in beautiful shape, and I'm pretty sure that that pattern is called Early American. So uh, that's the beginning of my Pyrex journey. Look out. And so here's a few things that I just picked up for um, junk journaling. Uh, some lovely vintage canning labels there. There's about four or five sheets of them. So uh, uh, anytime you're doing a recipe or kitchen type journal, that would be fun to use those or any journal really, I guess. So then I also picked this up, sorry for the glare, uh, gift cards for every occasion. And there is uh, a few different cards in there that are bird related. So I thought a bird junk journal might be a fun thing to do. So don't mind me, I've never held my iPad to, to do a video, but I'm not at home, I'm at a um, farm sitting job so I don't have my tripod that holds my my thing but anyways we'll just make do uh, so just a, a whack of tags you know you can always use a bazillion of those and then this cool ribbon that I I'm not sure what it is like it's hard almost like a burlap um, I've got quite a bit of it there's a fair bit on the roll there <laughs> I don't know where to point. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm such a dork. <laughs> anyway, this little thing, I think probably came with a pair of socks. Full fashion seamless would be the description of the socks. And then this is just a little bit of extra wool for when you needed to darn them if you had worn a hole in your socks. Which, you know, I've never learned to darn socks. Um... This, I don't know if any of you will recognize this. It, it's not going to fit in a junk journal, but it's, um, I think they were like a lucite or something. And it used to come with talcum powder, a nicely scented talcum powder, and then a puff in the top of it. And when I was a young to teenage girl, I think everybody had one of those on their, um, on their dressing table. It was just a staple. And I saw it in the store the other day. I picked it up and it still has the beautiful smell of the talcum powder in it. So just for good memory's sake, I had to had to grab that. So I can put bits and bobs in it to have on my craft table when I'm crafting and making my junk journals. And so um, just picked up three nice vintage hankies. This one is so sweet with the little butterflies and the nice lace on it. And then this one with a bit of pretty crochet. And this one has a few stains, but I'm sure we can use bits of it. Um, okay, up to playing cards. Two sets of playing cards with, they call them winter geese on them. And that brings back good memories because my mom in the 80s and 90s had the goose kitchen. I, bet you a lot of you my age will remember that um, she had the border the wallpaper border all around the top of it and then all the dishes the goose dishes and the teapot and all that sort of thing so this is the top of the tin and then this is the box that it came in which has I like that pattern I'll probably just cut that out and use that in the junk journal and then all the uh, the playing cards and then speaking of playing cards, this was a fun find, uh, the Beatles playing cards. So this is what all the backs of them look like. 
but then everyone as you turn them over has a different photograph on them so that's kind of fun to do I don't know what would you do a nostalgia journal rock and roll I mean were they rock and roll I don't know but anyways it's of my era and the interesting thing here is this was my very first album I ever owned <coughs> I guess the dog wanted to join in there. So, yeah, I was a little girl. We were living in India in 1963, and my aunts sent me this album, and I think probably for my birthday, so I wish I still had it. <laughs> I understand it's worth a fair, fair few dollars now, but it's long gone. So, anyways, and then um, in the crafting section, I just picked up a few bits of twill tape and vintage seam binding and uh, I love that royal blue isn't that gorgeous and then I'm gonna dump this out because in the free box if you can imagine am I holding that up right no in the free box I spotted this luster and I thought surely to goodness that's fire king and yes it is so that is my first piece of Fire King. It's not in fabulous shape, but again, it's probably just going to go onto my crafting desk to hold little bits and bobs. So that's kind of fun. There's my first two pieces of Fire King and Pyrex. And uh, just picked up a couple of magazines for a bit of inspiration and uh, just to enjoy. Um, this little box. I think is so sweet and it's absolutely chock full of those nice brass eyelets that I can use for uh, junk journals and um, just because it's winter and it's uh, a bit stormy and cold I grabbed a couple of candles because I'm not at home I'm at a farm sit so just to be on the safe side I treated myself to this little brooch at the library sale. Um, it looks pretty on my coat. Uh, I don't think it'll go on a junk journal. And then just because I can never pass up a tote bag or a purse, this is a David Jones, nice big tote bag, uh, vegan leather, nothing wrong with it except one zipper pull. I just have to put a, um, a jump ring on and and reattach it so super duper purse to carry around all my stuff when I go to farm sitting jobs so that's it oh I forgot this this is one of those case logic things that can go in your car and can sit on the passenger seat or whatever and just help keep you organized and I saw it and passed it up a couple of times but then yesterday, I went out and bought myself a car. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. So I went back and I picked this up. Right now, it's just sitting on my table here just to kind of help keep me organized. And um, But pretty soon, it's going to go in my new car. How exciting. All right, guys. Thanks very much. Take care, everybody. And uh, hope to see you lots more in the future. Bye for now.